Gender and sexuality is a complicated subject. The concept of males and females, homosexuals and heterosexuals, even bisexuals are common, but few people know that there's a much broader spectrum. Because of a lack of information, many teens have a hard time figuring out their sexual and gender identity. Without a proper education, they can struggle with their identity well into adulthood and even their whole life. Sexualities Most people know that heterosexuality means to feel sexual attraction to people of the opposite sex. Homosexuality means to feel attraction to people of the same sex. And bisexuality is experiencing sexual attraction to both males and females. But there's more. Pansexual people, also known as omnisexual, can experience attraction to all sexes and gender identities. An asexual person is someone that doesn't experience sexual attraction to any sex or gender at all. However, this doesn't mean that they aren't open to, or can't experience, romantic attraction. Romantic attraction is a feeling that causes people to desire a romantic relationship with a specific other person that doesn't necessarily involve sex. Heteroromantic homoromantic, biromantic, panromantic, and aromantic are all types of romantic attraction. And these can be mixed to fit with other types of sexual attraction. An example of this is bisexual and homoromantic. Gender. There is more than just male and female in the gender spectrum. Intersex is when a person is born with both male and female parts, usually having an XXY chromosome. They can choose which gender they would like to be identified as, or they can identify as neither. Non-binary is when a person chooses to identify as neither male nor female, usually taking on different pronouns like ji zhe jim or zi zer zim. Gender fluid can also fit into the spectrum of gender identities. A person who is gender fluid changes their gender identity that best fits with how they're feeling, changing from male to female to neither. Being cisgendered means you identify as the sex you were born as. Females identify as females and males identify as males. Transgender and transsexual people identify as a gender different from the biological sex they were born with. So a person born as a female may identify as a male later in life, and vice versa. While the two terms can be used interchangeably, transsexual usually refers to someone who has changed their appearance and undergone a sex change, while a person who identifies as transgender usually changes their appearance only. This is not to be confused with drag, which is a performance art. How to's Sexuality is loose, and labels like these are here to help people feel comfortable or like they have a place to belong. An important tip to remember is if you aren't sure how a person identifies, just ask. Appropriate pronouns are important to everyone. If you aren't sure, a safe way to go is using them, they pronouns. Say you have a friend or know someone that falls under one of these sexualities or gender identities and you aren't sure how to treat them. One easy way to respect someone's sexuality and gender is to never assume anything. Just because someone who identifies as bisexual is dating someone of the opposite sex, that doesn't mean they're suddenly straight. This applies to every sexuality. Help and information. It's common for people to have a hard time figuring out who they are. If you're in a situation like this, that's okay. Getting love and support from your friends and family is one of the most important things about finding yourself and your identity. Counseling is another option if you're having trouble. Online support groups can help you connect to other people who are dealing with similar challenges. If you still find yourself in a slump, eating right, exercising, and doing things that make you happy can help you through your confusion. For some counseling, you can call the GLBT National Hotline. They'll be more than happy to help.